Yo, real quick, something what Mal Katenta said. You had the Timberland Nas record, which was probably weak. Let's be clear, that's not a great record, but it Ooh. still rings out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you didn't like it's too much of that? I thought it was kind of dope. That, no, it's, it, listen, it, it's, it's, everybody, it's, it's just so interesting to see everybody's sort of different take on taste. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's palette is sort of similar, but different. You know what I'm saying? And this I, is so I, funny I can, to me, man. Cause I was going to, I was going to say, when I saw Slept On, I started thinking, I started thinking about some of the joints from him, right? And I was like, like two of the ones I chose were singles and two were not singles. I was like, okay, I'm going to go with one that's definitely not a single. Um, this is my favorite, obviously, but I was, the only other one I was going to choose was going to be from this album. Remember, Come and Get Me? Yeah, now that joint. That's that's truly a, a, a you know a, a album track. Like it ain't never getting on the radio. That's just like a straight you know. So I was just like, well, I think this has more of a chance. But I it was this is education. I did not know. I mean, I knew about like the whole thing with the Fifty Cent line and some. Of, I know about that. But I meant like I didn't know this this song itself or that album had so much love because a lot the people diss this album a lot. I think the album was solid. People diss volume three a lot, in my opinion. No, this, yeah. this record came out in the fourth quarter of 1999. Mm-hmm, 99, yep. Right, yeah, yeah. the first thing, first thing, it, it turned into millennium. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, 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 it rang up. It was a very important record. Probably debuted number one. Mm-hmm, it did. But I think it did. Yeah, it was a fourth it, quarter release. Absolutely. It did. What's it did interesting about one. this one, if I'm not mistaken, because I was interning for Def Jam at the time, I could be wrong. You can fact check it, but this might have been the very last record of 1999. I'm talking about when you're in the music business, you drop records before Christmas for the obvious yes. reason. The buy them yes. as gifts. People are still buying music physically for those watching yep. and as a gift. Yeah. So anything after Christmas was kind of like the beginning of vacation. Yeah. But this is the gall of Jay Z as usual, being like, "Nah, I'm gonna drop a record when nobody drops records." Well, you know what? He wanted he wanted it to be he wanted it to be the number one album of the new millennium, and it was because when you know yeah. the, the sales came in the next week, and it was number one yeah. in the year two thousand with everybody yeah. thinking, "K scare all that type." It, it was the it, again, one a, to- a total gamble, a total yeah. risk. Like you said, because you 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 artists of that caliber are on that risk of having to be sort of in the top three, not even in the top ten. They got to be in the top three. Really top two when you debut. Like they, they J, the likes of Jay Z have the have the right. When I say that, hear me out. To go up against like the corns of the world for that top spot, with right. both labels going like I'm willing to spend the money on Jay Z to get that number one spot and say fuck corn. And this is like the labels talking, <laughs> right? So I'm talking about even higher than the name dashes, if if you will. So it's like that that Jay Z again the gall the nerve to be like, well, I'm gonna drop. A, an album when nobody drops albums. Nobody drops albums in the fourth quarter after the, the, the Christmas. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, I'm going to do it. And he had the number one album running in to the year 2000. Shout out to DMX that same year dropping two albums. Two albums. Yeah. yeah. And this album went triple. This album went triple eventually. So, yeah. Yeah, he, he did yeah, his thing. was on fire at that time. Yeah. Yeah. was on fire at that time. Yeah, So man. let's give it up real quick. Uh, actually, so let's Let's talk about it real quick. I want to go around the room real quick and see what everybody's choices were. But again, shout out to everybody's picks. Amazing choices. Best slept on Timberland tracks. Again, we use every Monday night live, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on Twitch. Follow us here on Twitch. And if you want to see the episodes, again, like I said, more spice, more visuals, more sound effects, more goodies. Ah, check us out on YouTube. Eat Beats and Rhymes. Like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell. If you want to take us to go, just listen to us. We're available on all your audio podcasts platforms let's go around the room Matt. was 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 that were those your only choices the, well, no that... no so the other one i i, I guess i'm i really stick with jay so it was going to be you know either that um like i said come and get me um or lost and scrimp okay. or um hey poppy which i thought were two since they were releases and uh, hey, videos uh, i thought they hey. were too big yeah but i love that beat like that beat is just sick like just if you just listen to the beat the chain ding, jokes ding, and stuff ding, is ding, sick. Ding, 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 yeah, ding. it's it's sick. Mm-hmm. I also thought I also did kind of think about using the locks of ride or die. That joint is it's right, dope. even though right, it's a right. it's a dope sample. It's kind of that's simple, another but really... record that's sort of similar to, to your choice of it's hot, where it's like, right, well, actually, no, ride or die was a single. Though. That was a single, yeah. That that was was a dope video song. and everything. I just it just popped back in the way that was added video mm-hmm. and everything. Yep. Still, the argument could be had. That's not stepped on. Had a single, ah, uh, but so can the reverse arguments. I, I'd be interested to know what, what what people brought to the table with that one. Let's see what anybody else has on the table. Um, Triple C, what did you have in your stash if you weren't picking the record you brought to the table? 
of uh, rap wise, hip hop, I was gonna choose 50 Cent's AO, but that was too, that's, that's too that's obvious. Hit, bro. Oh no. Uh, My AO technology? AO technology, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's why that's not even pick it. That's why I didn't pick it. Well, it shouldn't even be a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, fabulous um, make me better. Mm. Another hit. That's a, that's why that's it's the hard. problem. That's what you see. Know. Look, look at the problem we're having. It's a hit. It's a no, hit. No, but you're picking all singles too. You, you could, no, here's the thing. You, you're picking all singles. Like to 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 Mal's respect to a certain degree. Yeah, yeah. You know that yeah. record happened to be a big record. Here. He picked a non-single. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Matter of yeah. fact, just to reflect real quick. I think. Everybody might have picked a single. Let's, let's talk about it real quick. Well, not everybody. Actually, not everybody. So, Scan had Call Me. That was a single. Philly had Drop. That was a single. Game, Let Me Put You on the Game was a single. We, we confirmed it. Picasso Baby was a single, at least by definition of video. It's Hot was not. And Bad Bitch was not. Mm-hmm. By OB Trice. So, can I, can, I, can, I tell you what that, can I tell you what that sums up? Can I tell you what that sums up? That not a single soul was listening to a Timberland and Magoo album. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I mean, it, it came up in conversation, though. <laughs> it, it came up in conversation. Love to love you. Love to love you, nobody. Love to love you. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so I had, I hit, had, uh, I had, um, but see, that's the thing. I had the Obi Trice. After that, the other three records that I had was um, Nigga What, Nigga Who, Jay Z, mm-hmm. right? Big hit. No, but wait, but Timbaland and Magoo was on the on the, on the battle tonight. That drop record is Timbaland and Magoo. Okay, right. true, true, true. It is literally okay. it's listed as Timbaland Magoo featuring Fat Man Scoop. But so it was Philly a legit. The kid, but Philly the Kid said he was not listening to a whole album of Magoo. You know what I mean? And Timbaland. Nobody, everybody said that, and nobody okay. will. So, <laughs> that's, that's, right. That's the, that's, the, that's the point, man. Like, everything is a big hit. The other joints I had was Nas, You Owe Me, and then Jay-Z. You could have easily chose from, Timba, from, from Magoo's catalog a slept on Timbaland influence that's track. horrible. Is, is that uh, the best direction? No. <laughs> so, so, something off the Timbaland Magoo catalog. Something like, like for example, you know, listen, Timbaland did tracks for a lot of people. That right. You know, were considered hits by state of by, by status of numbers, but like we're like nobody cared about that. Like he produced his little brother Sebastian. Nobody cared mm-hmm. about that. You know what I'm saying? It, and and it's that Timberland sound. Uh, it's 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 happened a few times. Remember, he's still human. They not everything is is a hit out the park every single time. He just has a very good. I always go sports for series. I don't know why, but he's That's... a very good percentage, a very good batting average. Right? Like he yeah. he does well. So. That's what makes him special. What's, what's that? What's that group? The uh, player. A lot of stuff from them. Player. Yeah, player. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. It's a lot of other like. Uh, yeah, Mocha, I didn't want to call the R and B route. That's why yeah, I was Mocha, like, that's yeah. right. that's that's like that, like that Madonna album that he did with Pharrell, bro. That shit was fire, bro. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Wait, what's this? I don't even know about the Madonna album with Timberland and Pharrell. She had yeah. hit. Yeah. Wow. Who's that hit with? Uh, it was Justin Timberlake on it on this track. Justin right? Timberlake, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think he I did blessed. That. He blessed. It, it was one Timberlake. song though. It was one song. All the time. No, no, no. The whole that. album is Pharrell and Timberland. The oh, whole album. We got it. We got to do a Neptune's version of this. Non, like, like slept on, like non-single, like slept on best tracks from Neptune's. Again, you, yeah. you I got to play. Do you guys want to bring R and B records, remixes, whatever? Like I said, it's it, it's fun and interesting. Like I said, four minutes. That's a, yeah, someone who did. Larry Chris, you said Bubba Sparks. In someone, someone brought a Bubba Sparks in the chat room. Bubba Sparks. Oh, man. That yeah, record that would not have been. Yeah, that would not fly tonight. That record would not have been. What the about the Miss Jake record? The song Four Minutes. Jake. That's what Larry Chris said. Uh, that's the one with the Madonna and uh, Justin Timberlake joint that was produced by now. Four minutes. Go? Four minutes. Four that minutes. was that was the first single. Yeah. Off that album. Triple C, the executive producer, let me know that the show is officially over. Uh, I was trying to be kind, but you see Triple C's greedy wanted to hit his choices out and then shut everybody else down. I didn't even get my choices out. Get out, get out, get out. Thanks, you got to hit Breeze. Thanks, Breeze. I don't want to hit Breeze. Triple C's so rude, Triple C. Let everybody finish their So quickly, I was going to go to the show. We got to edit all this. Quickly, I'm going to go to the show. I'm going to say Timbaland featuring Jay Z, Lobster and Shrimp. That was one of my choices. Um, and then the Nas joint, uh, To My, and then, you know, I picked the game. Um, another one I had um, was uh, Mad Skills featuring Timbaland together. And then, uh, and another one, which was like a hit, but it was on the B side, was Aaliyah, More Than a Woman. 
More than a woman. It's a dope joke. It's fire. More than a woman. I'm gonna let. I wouldn't let. I would I would have raised the flag. I would let you guys vote on that. But I would. Yeah, I that's personally huge. Like, that's More than a woman. Is huge. One of my favorite. Big a video to that, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. Yeah, More the video that? and the song. That that beat. It was. It's, it's, it's fire. It should, we should have did an R and B. We should have did a Timberland R and B show, and I think we would have had more. We would have yeah. had more tracks that we would have all been invested in, just That's a little bit more. I can but we can't, say we, we can't call it we on technically that. can. We've only talked about literally one R and B record tonight on on file. We could about do it the title. On- the title we couldn't. We couldn't call it. Tell me R and B slept on R and B joints. No, we just we oh, but take the slept on out. That's the thing. There's no slept yeah, on Timberland R and B joints. Right. right. And and then have this same discussion, but again, just R and B, and it's like now you again from entire catalog from beginning to end. Do you and and true? That's kind of interesting. I, I like that. I will keep that and, in mind. And Timberland got international records. Like he got yeah. international records that that are in other languages that I am like oh fire. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't. I don't think that deep <laughs> with this stuff like that. <laughs> There's the African in the room. You better. You better get in an Africa, brother. No, 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 Chris said she, we need to. We need to branch out. She said she did a whole Timbaland set. I, I, I think. I, I think I watched that one. Listen, said, I, I've, we need been, to I've been to Timbaland versus Neptune's parties, like, uh, and they're intense and exciting and eclectic, mm-hmm. and they're fucking dope. Listen, Virginia, shout out to DJ Hobo, two up, two down. Shout out to DJ Hobo, man. Delivered us. Non Queens episode, baby. Yeah. Shout out to the good rap. Good rap, yeah. man. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully when this video comes out, the the good, you know, saying DJ Hobo will leave it in the comments, which was his his entry if he was playing the game. What would have been his record for defending? It'd be I'm interested to know He's what in there right now. He's in there well, right is now. Is he right? Yeah. DJ Hobo, shout out to DJ Hobo in the building. Oh, hey, yo, 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 what up, Hobo? Hobo? What record would you have chosen to enter into this battle just so you know these are the records that got chosen tonight if you're listening? DJ you would have chosen the Wu-Tang Timbaland record. What <laughs> <laughs> record? Magoo Hobo. featuring you, God. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, shit. Magoo. Magoo featuring you, God. DJ, DJ Scandalous' contribution. DJ Hobo, what up? Oh, oh well, what record would you what record would you have brought into this battle for best slept on Timberland tracks? Here are the current <laughs> that were in the battle tonight. DJ Scandalous brought a tweet, first R and B entry ever, EBR history with the Call Me record. Philly the Kid bringing in Fat Man Scoop's feature off that Timberland and Magoo drop. Cool Breeze bringing in Game. Let me put you on the game off that uh, documentary album. Jay Z's Picasso Baby off that Magna Carta. Brought in by Triple C. Malcontent giving us another Jay-Z track. It's hot off that volume three, Life of S. Doc Carter. And Ike Infamous bringing in Obi Trice's Cheers selection off that album called Bad Bitch. All Timbaland slept on tracks. And ended up going down to the wire. It's hot volume three was the choice. Jay-Z, the victor. But Hobo, who did you have? When yeah, we do the wait. part, when we do the part, when we do the part two with the, with the R and B records, it's gonna be intense because we could really get in that bag. Yeah, yeah. R and B one is interesting. Shout shout out to uh, really Mas- get in that bag because I'm because I'm yeah. like Justin Timberlake alone. Justin Timberlake alone. <laughs> yeah. He laced that dude yeah. alone. Yep. Oh, he, you know, Homo say Picasso. Wow. He with you, uh, Trip. Listen, shout out to Mas- <laughs> he's brought up the R and B. Uh, Concept before I really know how to deliver on it. This is a great way to deliver some R&B. Shout out to the fans. Let us know what you think in the chat room. If you're still hanging out with us, shout out to you guys. Let us know if you think that the R&B idea for a Timberland battle is a good idea. And let us know in the comments when you watch this episode live on YouTube what you think about that. Let's get and go around the rest of the room to find out who else has some choices. We can wrap this up real quick. Philly to AZ, aka Philly D Kid. You came in last minute. We appreciate you. Did you happen to have any other choices just in case someone had picked? Your drop record. I did, I did, because like like I said, he's one hundred percent correct. It was hard because yeah, it's I don't know Timberland ever really had it slept on, so I I got out of his album bag and went to a, a soundtrack and I went with Lil Kim John. Uh, what's it called? Money Talk. Money Talk. Yeah. Ooh, I don't remember that one. Money Talk soundtrack. Oh, the Money Talk. The Money Talk soundtrack, and that she had the title track. It was na- her, the name of the cut is called Money Talk. 
Does it does it like sample that 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 old eighties joint money talks? Uh-uh. Money nah. talks. Nah. <laughs> nah. Which record? Which record? Uh, uh, money talks by Little Kim and Timbaland off the Money Talks soundtrack. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know that one. Yeah, or at least it was. Before. And the beat is once again the beat is the beat is generic, but it's Timbaland, and it was it made the soundtrack. But Lil Kim wrote that beat. She got Biggie ish on it. Mm. He may have wrote it, but I, I think this came out after he passed. But she she she, she got busy on that lyrically. So listen, he, he charged Biggie. So, Hobo exactly. also said the Snoopy track from the Jay Z Volume Three Snoopy track. Oh, featuring Juvenile. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that joint was tough. Yeah, that's that's a big record. Another that's big, a big record, record though. Yeah, another yeah. big record. But it wasn't a single though. I don't think was it. No. I don't think it was a no. single or, or a video or anything. Big nope. record. Yeah, it's definitely it's slept on. You have to know about the album and, and that particular record True. right there. That's fly. Anybody else want to contribute any last one, any last minute records before we wrap <laughs> things up? No, I mean I I had trouble with this one, man. Um, that like I said, that's why I end up choosing the tweet because the it's so it's so strange. Like like I said, his his records is so so big in my opinion. Pause. You know what I mean? So uh, other than that, I think I had dropped. That was the other record that I that I that I had. You know what I mean? That was like the only other record I had. That could wow. force me. What was the last one? Drop the drop record. Oh, I thought you said something after that. No, no, no. Okay, fair enough. Listen, interesting night. Like I said, we decided to take on the best of Timbaland slept on tracks. The winner at the end of the night.